Hey folks, today it's time for some keto French toast, oaky smoking style. Uh, so Dolores is on keto, my wife, and occasionally I'll do a keto uh, recipe and that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, it's hopefully good, we're gonna try it, haven't tried this before, but we're gonna go ahead and make the keto bread, French toast bread. So we're gonna cook it on this Weber, just on charcoal, no smoke, at about 350 to 400 degrees. Um, and then once we get that done and let it cool, we're gonna throw it on the Blackstone with some butter and hopefully have some excellent breakfast, a little keto French toast. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I made the uh, French toast right here. And it goes a little fast, so all of the ingredients I'll put in the description below, you can refer to that as well. Add eight ounces of cream cheese, softened. Four eggs. Got a fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. And in here, I got three tablespoons of sugar-free sweetener, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of vanilla all mixed in here. Actually, <laughs> in this one, that's what's all in this one here. And this one's a third cup of coconut a flour and we're just going to use a teaspoon of vanilla whoa right there good enough and this is the uh, uh, sugar uh, free uh, sweetener we use which is just swerve i'm just going to put this on a blender and i just got about a four by eight inch pan here with a little parchment paper over it so we could pull it out when it's done and I'm just going to pour this right in. Now it's ready to go on the oven. So right here it is. You can see uh, just like we showed in that video. And uh, we're going to cook this and hopefully it, it rises. Everything does well. And then uh, we'll let it cool and turn it into French toast here in a minute. <coughs> I probably added a little too much charcoal. Probably could have added a little less because I really don't want it quite as hot as it is. But we're gonna put it on this side over here so that it's not over the direct heat. Right like that. And then cover it 40, 45 minutes. Uh, temperature showing right around 325 right now. It's going to go ahead and heat up a little bit. I got it choked down. I'll monitor that. Of course, if you don't want to do this step, just throw it in your oven. That'd be the easier way, but uh, the oaky smoking style is outside on the Weber transferred to the Blackstone. So uh, we're going to let this cook up. I'll, I'll pull it out and we'll take a look at it, let it cool, and then we're going to have some French toast and it isn't an oaky smoking video unless there's a mistake there's been a lot of them and this one is no different so i forgot to add the melted butter uh, in the mix but i realized it soon after i put it on here so i went ahead and added it just whisked it in before it really got to cooking should be fine and then this cooked for a little bit over an hour uh, i did go ahead and let, well let's just take a look at it look at that you can see I was testing it earlier uh, to make sure it was cooked all the way through here. Uh, but I also turned it uh, because one side was cooking a little hotter than the others for a little more evenness. But look at that. And then the, you can put a knife in there and it comes out clean. So it is ready. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just take this inside and let it cool for about 30 minutes or so. Get the Blackstone preheated, ready to go. Throw some butter on it. We're going to cut this up and have some French toast keto style today. And if you enjoy this Weber video, I said a couple videos ago, I was looking at a Weber Smoky Mountain. I've got one on the way. It's the 18 inch one. So I'll be able to create tons more content with that. And I'm gonna do all kinds of things from baking uh, to uh, everything I've done on the pit barrel. So that's gonna be awesome as well. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to that too. But let me get this in, let it cool, and uh, make some French toast keto. And look here, there it is. They've been cut up to about 
I don't know, nine or 10 pieces there of French bread, keto French bread. And you wouldn't even be able to tell that was cooked in a Weber. I mean, just look at that. Looks great. So now let's go ahead and make some keto French toast. This is the part I've been waiting on. I'm just gonna been heating this for a while. We're just gonna throw some butter right on there. And then, see if we just get, look at that. Got them sizzling up. Oh, I can, you can smell it. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it smells like French toast. Just just smelling it coming right up at me. Man, that smells good. We're just gonna cook this about, uh, oh, a few minutes and then we'll flip it. Probably about three or four minutes total for this whole thing. And then we're gonna get to try it out. Like I said, uh, I don't do keto all the time, but every now and then I do keto. My wife at the Lord, she's on keto, so uh, I thought this would be something. And sometimes I like to try them. It'd be something she would like and uh, thought I might even like as well. And she always says the carbs. And this here should be around two to three net carbs per serving, I believe, and that each one of these would be a serving. Of course, it's gonna vary based on the size. Uh, this one loaf was supposed to make eight servings uh, with what we followed on this recipe. So if you were to divide it evenly eight times, your carbs would be right there. Look how beautiful that looks. Little bitty one there. Wow. Got some sugar-free syrup. Wow, that tastes just like French toast. That, is, that tastes like French toast. That is as close to French toast as you can get. That is really good. Yeah, I mean, you like that? what do you think? That is as close to French toast as you're going to get, and that's keto. That is, I could eat that, no problem. Yeah, you would never know. Mm, tastes just like French toast. Yeah, with the syrup. I'm going to fry up some more. And like I said, the beginning part of this, if you just want to throw that in the oven, that's going to be fine. This is French toast. Throw you some toppings, some fruit, uh, whipped toppings, whatever you want on this syrup. I'm impressed. It is really good. You, if you're keto, and if you're not keto, just want to try something different, low carb, really good. I give it two thumbs up, as a matter of fact. This is the Oki Smoking Channel where it's all done outdoors on the Blackstone, on the Pit Barrel, and Weber Smoky Mountain. It's on the way to this channel as well. All the cooking outdoors. I hope you subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.